Good morning, everybody. It is May 9th, 2018, 6, 11 a.m. All right, first off today, let's actually look at current temperatures. The continental U.S. is certainly warming up. It is finally spring. Uh, waking up anything near 50 is good enough for me. A little bit cooler as we get towards the U.S.-Canadian border, um, as it usually is. It's still pretty cold up there. Some of our moisture, moisture systems that move uh, west-east across the top of the U.S. still have some snow up in Canada. So this is normal for this time of year. We do not want to rush right into summer and have 80 and 90 degree temperatures like we've had in the northeast. It's just you need to get used to it, trust me, especially working outside. It's a... Uh, it's not something you want to do. You want to ease into it, 50s, 60s for a while, then get into your 70s and 80s, and then a month of 90s is good enough for me. Anyway, we are following a moisture system that is just pulling off the east sides of Iowa and Minnesota, moving into Illinois and Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to look at that close up. Here is the front of that system. These are current lightning strikes going on. So this is a pretty severe system. There is uh, a lot of hail involved with this, obviously a lot of rain. There is a little bit of a tornado percentage chance right in this area under the Great Lakes. I don't think anything will uh, produce from that. It's a little far north, uh, not really too big of a system to cause anything significant, but this will make its way into the northeast. It will bring rain uh, for at least for over the weekend, unfortunately. My only day off this week is Sunday. It does look like it's going to rain that day. What are you going to do? Uh, Storm Prediction Center is watching these specific areas for today. As you can see, the system is right around here now. Uh, the serious part of the system will be just as it gets underneath uh, by Michigan, uh, talking just past Wisconsin, just at the top here of Illinois and Indiana. Uh, that's going to be our area to watch today. Now, as far as tornadoes go, see, there you go, 2% chance. Highly unlikely for tornadoes in this area of the country, at least right now. Uh, wind advisories, 15% in that yellow, and then we got the 5% circling around it. Uh, you could backtrack a little bit near Kansas. You get a little bit of a wind issue going on there. That is the backside of the low-pressure system. And then our hail situation. This thing is producing hail. I read some articles on it. Um, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois all got hail from this uh, so I'm just assuming it's going to continue to keep moving. That is a mix of warm air and cooler air and atmospheric conditions causing hail. I don't think it's anything crazy like those golf ball or baseball to softball size hail situations we had dealing with down in the south when we were watching that other front that we've been talking about. Uh, here is our little bit of a Doppler shot. You can see how this thing is moving. Uh, from Iowa into Wisconsin, Illinois, and then Indiana is going to be next. When you see those deep reds in this specific chart, the long wave infrared, uh, that is a lot of moisture. So this is a lot of rain. You can see comparison to that uh, tropical wave that is still riding up the east coast. It didn't really do much to us. We got some Carolina rain from it. Uh, we do have another invest to talk about, though. So we have our first invest in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, season officially starts May 15th. It is May 9th. A little early, but right on that border. So you can see here, this was our tropical wave, the low-pressure system moving up. A little bit of something down here by Cuba and the Bahamas. Uh, might bring some rain to South Florida and Miami, but here we go. Here's our low-pressure system. You can see how that matches directly up with our other charts. Uh, low pressure systems often carry the moisture which bring our rain, our snow, and cause our tornadoes and our big cold fronts that move across before storms hit. Um, so let's take a look at this in movement. Uh, this is current time as we move forward into Wednesday and Thursday. You can see how this thing passes right over the Great Lakes and then by Thursday into Friday we are over the northeast central uh, part of this low pressure is up by Nova Scotia now, <clears throat> even close to Maine. So those areas will be dealing with some wind. And in between these two low pressure systems, you see that other one moving across Colorado, uh, over right over northern Texas. Uh, in between these two will be wind issues. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. This other low pressure system will bring a little more severe weather. We see some yellows popping up um, as we move into the weekend, these strips here. Um, you want to keep an eye on these because that's where the severe weather will lie. So we're talking North Dakota, or South Dakota rather, is involved in that. And then as we move west to east, we will be moving once again into Iowa. There is a strip over Minnesota. And again, this will be for Friday, moving in through the weekend. So people who live in these areas, just keep an eye out, listen to your local weather. Uh, severe weather is never... 
uh, foam that when it's involved with a lot of wind like that. We could see our bars around the, the low pressure systems are pretty close together. That does involve some stronger winds. Now let's take a look at our invest in the Pacific Ocean before I let you guys go. Um, this is the invest they're talking about. It's invest 90E. And as we move forward in time, you can see it pops up right here. Not much of a threat to Mexico as of now. It looks like it wants to form and then die out. The lowest pressure we see is about 102, might hit 1,000. The condition's not quite ready yet to support a hurricane, but nonetheless, it is Invest 90E, and we can see that because when you go to current storms on Tropical Tidbits, it shows Invest 90E here. You take the coordinates, you can punch them into Google Earth, you can search, and it brings us right to our spot in the uh, Pacific Ocean where this storm is being watched right now. You can see it's pretty far off of Mexico. All right, so that's what we got to talk about today, guys. We'll keep an eye on this invest here in the Pacific Ocean. We will watch the weather that is currently moving. There are f our flashes again. These sites, I swear to God, I wish they would just load correctly. But um, this is the moisture we're watching, guys. Once again, moving towards the Great Lakes right now. It's going to cross over um, the lakes here, and then we're going to move into Michigan. <clears throat> and then we will talk about this later on tomorrow. We did have a 6.0 earthquake in Papua New Guinea. They have been getting a rough ride over the last couple months. Uh, obviously, uh, in the middle of the ocean, Hawaii is still dealing with the volcano and earthquake situation. And then straight across the Pacific Ocean into the Gulf, we had our 4.9, considered to be in Louisiana right off the coast there. All right, guys, that's it for now. Here's Ventu Sky's version of the invest. We can clearly see rotation, not really breaking anything over 50 miles per hour as far as we can see for now. All right, guys, I hope everyone's having a great day. Once again, if I don't talk to you this afternoon, we will talk tomorrow morning. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.